Hi friends, welcome to a gab about some stuff. The stuff we are gabbing about today is an entire collection. Um, it is the Louis Vuitton Game On collection. I love the collection. I think it's beautiful. I think it's fun. I know it's not for everybody and a lot of people are like, eh, I don't like it that much and that's fine, you know, um, but I think it's fun. However, this gab is more about um, why I'm unlikely to purchase anything from that collection even though I love it. And um, I know there are a lot of videos and I do a lot of gabs about stuff that I love and that I just can't wait to buy, but as the season of giving is fast approaching, I'm trying to think about others um, and set aside a little more dough for um, nice quality gifts for people that I love um, and I'm also just trying to slow myself down from purchasing a bunch of stuff so every once in a while it's nice to hear yourself say why you're not buying stuff so instead of just saying it to myself I thought I would put it in a gab and share with you why I'm not buying um, probably not buying anything from that collection don't hold me to anything like Next week, if I unbox something, just be happy for me. Please don't judge me. <laughs> don't like put me out and shoot me, right? But um, unlikely to purchase anything and just, I'm just going to be content to enjoy watching other people enjoy the pieces that they get from the collection just because I love something I know doesn't mean I have to purchase it so I'll be loving these things from afar but let me share with you some of the reasons why I will not likely be purchasing them to add to my own wardrobe. The first category of things that I will not be buying from this collection is the ready to wear. And that's because I don't buy any ready to wear. I think ready to wear is a wonderful way to spend your dough if you got the dough. But first I ain't got the dough. Honestly, everything from this collection is all the way out of my price range. So that's fine. But, um, even if I could, my big hang up about ready to wear is actually that my weight and body composition fluctuates and the way my clothes fit fluctuates. And I would be so bummed out if I spent so much money on ready to wear and I couldn't wear it or it didn't look quite the way it had looked when I purchased it, you know? So I'm unlikely to invest in the ready to wear even though I think some of the pieces are just darling. They're so cute. There are some dresses that are nice and long that I could see myself wearing in a summer um, at a garden party or something like that. They have a little romper that's like shorts um, with a little tie at the waist that I think is just adorable and I could totally see myself just living in. But yeah, I'm not not quite <laughs> not quite jumping into the ready to wear uh, situation yet. So the things that I initially thought that I would be interested in the Arch Light sneakers. I love the little red heart on the side with the little monogram trim at the back. How cute. However, it's $1,200. $1,200 USD. I find that a tough pill to swallow. That's a lot of money for me for sneakers, especially because I actually really just enjoy sneakers, period. I really enjoy Puma sneakers and Nike sneakers. I buy those, they go with my outfits, and they are, I mean, a fraction, tiny, tiny fraction of $1,200. And I could buy a bunch of them, switch up my outfit and things like that. Next thing that really caught my eye was the shawl. I really enjoy shawls. I wear them all the time. I find them extremely practical. However, the shawl is white. It's white. It's beautiful. Um, maybe it's beige or cream in person. I haven't seen it in person. Um, but I wear foundation. I'd be so bummed out if I got foundation on the shawl. And like foundation is really hard to get out of. Um, clothes like you really have to put some energy into it and once it's on there like you just can't wear it until you wash it again and I don't know it's just a lot so I'm thinking no on the shawl solely because I just can't deal with the thought of having to treat foundation stains out of a shawl a white shawl okay so this stole may have changed the game it's black I think it would be plenty useful and uh, I wouldn't have to worry about foundation stains so let's say this is a strong maybe maybe there is a silk square 
but that's a little smaller than the shawl that does have a little more uh, capacity to hide stains however um it's not quite my jam it's a little too small really like you can't just like throw it around and do like the shawl thing with it so it wouldn't be a good substitute and i just don't think so the twilly is adorable however i have purchased three twillies in a month month's time i think i'm good with twillies at the moment um I just don't know that I have enough <laughs> bags or uses for that many twillies. Uh, for me, three twillies is plenty for now. And let's move on to the bags. The Neverfulls are a no for me because I'm just not into totes that much right now. Um, I do enjoy the Neverfull. I don't currently have one in my collection. And the next Neverfull that I add to my collection will be in the Mon Mono. It will be personalized for me and I will have it forever and that's just kind of it. So I'm not really checking for Neverfulls like that. Um, there's also a Speedy 25 and a Speedy 30. The Speedy 30 is just a no for me because I have had Speedy 30s. They are great but I tend to put too much stuff into them and then I have shoulder problems and I have back problems. People say, well, just don't put that much stuff into them. But honestly, speedies, they are kind of smushy, you know? So if you don't put enough stuff, the little things that you do put go into the middle and then it kind of folds on itself and it just gets to look weird. It actually gets to look like a flat bag, which, you know, defeats the purpose, I think, of having a speedy. The speedy 25, also adorable, but it's white. And I just don't see my wardrobe being able to support a white bag um, for that much money you know so I don't think I'll be investing in that the pochette Felici how cute so cute so adorable um, it's black so I wouldn't have to worry about that gold chain I love a gold chain I love a gold chain but I already have a pochette Felici I have enough small bags so even though I think it's super cute and I don't know I might but I probably won't I just don't have a space in my wardrobe for something like that aside than just that I just love it and I want it which is fair too but mm, I don't know uh, there are a couple of other bags but they're not really styles of bags that I check for there's one that's like shaped like a cube I don't think so there is the cur that's shaped like a heart I don't know that's a little too novelty for me. Like, mm, I am trying to expand beyond like the um, regular shape bag. So I'm trying to do like more duffels and um, the Deauville I'm trying to do, you know, and things like that. But I don't know if a heart shaped bag is quite where I'm ready to go. They also have one of those double pouches, but I don't see myself getting a ton of use out of that. So I'm just gonna say no generally for the bags that are not the three that I've already discussed the length. The pouches. <sighs> the cosmetic pouch, I'm torn. I think I'm gonna say no, but I am torn because the print is so cute. I love how bold, how much print they put on it. Um, but the cosmetic pouch and I haven't really got along that well. In fact, I've sold my cosmetic pouch. I find that the tapered top is just not, conducive to carrying as much stuff as the space that that toiletry pouch um cosmetics pouch takes in a bag like it's shaped so funny that it just takes more space than i want to give up and i prefer the mini pochette and the toiletry pouch 15 like i find those way more user friendly for the shape of bags that i carry so i'm probably not gonna do the cosmetic pouch oh it's so cute though um nor the toiletry pouch 26. I love my toiletry pouch 26. I think it's great that you can turn it into a bag if you want to, but will I? Probably not. Um, so I don't know. I like the use of the to toiletry pouch 26 that I get out of it, but I don't know that I need two, especially not two monogram ones, even though this one is a little bit different. And it's got a little bit more pizzazz. I'm just not, I'm just not sure that that's something I need, even though I want it. They do have some other kind of random knick-knacky things that really just aren't for me. Like they have a pencil case holder. I'm not buying no pencil case holder. I don't even carry pencils like that or pens or anything. So I'm a no on that. Um, they have um, 
bag charms i'm not really into bag charms so i'm gonna pass on that luggage tags no um that's most of the collection i may be forgetting a thing or two like i haven't memorized everything about it but those are the broad strokes and um my impressions of them so are they adorable are they cute do i think um they would really snazz up somebody else's wardrobe and do i want to see if you get them heck yeah but for me for right now it's a no i'm just gonna take a big deep breath and a pause enjoy some of the stuff that i currently have and you know who knows in a year or two probably like three some of the stuff will be available pre-loved in great condition and if I still love it then I can always invest them so it's not like if I don't get it now I can never have it um, I'm not aware that it's limited well it's limited edition but I'm not aware that it's limited production you know so the stuff might come around anyway so I'm just gonna pause enjoy seeing y'all's unboxings of it and wish you the best so let me know your thoughts though like are you loving this collection do you think it's as much fun as i do have you already picked up a few pieces um would love to hear your thoughts so please get back take care it's the fam peace